Hello again. Funny one today, by well, no stretch of the imagination. Let me get inside the station and I'll tell you what happened last night. Still going on now, crazy. Okay, so what's going on today that makes things slightly different? Well, last night at about 8.30, I had a power cut. Looked online on the phone. Turns out the whole of East Timoth. So I think I'll show you a flash of thing up, but off the top of my head, remembering the numbers, 3,700 homes or properties without power. Anyway, ours came back just after midnight. So that wasn't too bad. However, I woke up this morning only to find that most of the town is still out. And as of this moment, there's still about 100 plus properties in the centre of town off power. Now they brought in emergency generators to four places apparently. And so we're gonna have a see, look to see if we can see them later without getting too wet. And uh, see how it goes, but it's a funny day with the weather. And um, I need to get some shopping actually. I need to get milk and stuff, but I don't think Lidl's is open simply because the uh, illuminated sign isn't lit. And if they had emergency power, that would have lit up as well. We'll have to see, won't we? We'll have to see. Now, on a lovely afternoon, well, half an hour last yesterday afternoon anyway, went down, saw Nigel and Barbara on top of the cinema. He showed me some of his personal photo albums, lovely photos, all his family, etc. But lots of them, of course, old Timoth in the background. And I took some views off the top of the, uh, top of the cinema, of course. And around about now, I'd normally go, right, and here we go. Here's the pictures, here's the views. However, because of the power cut, couldn't do any editing last night, so I'm going to put that back by a day or so. But rest assured, it will be coming. So lovely to uh, spend, spend that time with you, Nigel. And thanks to both of you. Right, let's go and see if we can find out if anywhere is open, how much is still affected by the power cut, and whether or not we can see anyone working on anything anywhere. Gonna get wet, but there you go. Let's go. All right, there's some work going on apparently by the station to do with the electricity stuff. I see some flashing lights there behind Lidl's. So we'll head in that direction. There's something going on outside St. Michael's with two big lorries parked, or one big lorry with a stuff on the back with all cones next to him. So he's probably to do with it. But the main event, I believe, is round here. Here we go. Flashy, flashy, lovely. National Grid. National Grid. Right, so that's the first bit of work going on. Jolly Breeze is on, lit up, got lights. Like I say, a lot of this place, they're saying it's off, but it's they're on emergency supply somewhere. There we go, there's one of the generators. Like we've got power down in this part of town which was part on the map that isn't but with, I don't know that little uh, generator how much it powers is that going to power half the town 
or have we got loads of them knocking around? I really don't know. Yeah, well, the town seems to be on power. So we'll just take a look up around to the den area because apparently there's work going on on the den as well. See if we can see that. Here we go, two more generators down here by the... Uh... Oh, can't go that way. Two more generators down here by the den. Over there, they're digging up outside the uh, pavilions. So I wonder if they found the time capsule. <laughs> oh no, they're a bit further forward than that, I think. Now there's a time capsule buried there. And that's there. I mean, to be fair, it really shouldn't affect me because where I normally go on my walk, it doesn't really matter if there's power on or not. I mean, along the sea wall and everything. But it's kind of like skewed me a little bit, you know what I mean? Oh, another generator. They're everywhere. Look at that. Well, in their defence, like they've certainly managed to deploy some generators and get everything going again. It does make me wonder whether or not my power at home now is actually restored, or if I'm on one of these somewhere hidden away. No idea. Let's hope they get it sorted out soon, though. It's certainly a fairly miserable day to have all this power cut going on. This is this sort of rain I talk about that you think, oh, it's not really raining, it's not too bad. Don't really notice it. Next thing you know, you take your eye off the ball for a second, you may as well have just gone swimming off the pier with all your clothes on. Absolutely soaked through to the skin from seemingly nowhere. At least when it's pouring down in big drops, you kind of know where you are. There's Venus. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And the tables, formerly known as the captain's tables, tables, conveniently located outside of Venus. Hello. Are you missing power? Nope. Not bothered, are you? In an ideal world, I'd like to say, oh well, I'll do a loop back round, film this steam train, jobs are good and go home, shut the doors, put myself in for the day. That's not happening though. It's got to take mum to the uh, foot lady at four o'clock. So I've got to come out again for that. And uh, then I want to get me curry, don't I? I want to get me curry. But I'm not complaining. All good, all good indeed. Tennis courts. And the den. Well, I've decided that as I know now, most of the town is on power in one form or another. I won't worry about getting food now and having to carry it around with me. What I'll do is I'll come back out again later and do a shopping trip off camera. And in the meantime, I think I'll brave the sea wall and get this steam train. And then job is indeed a good one. So that's my plans. Decided on the spur of the moment, walking here in the liquid sunshine. Nigel and Barbara are up there now. They've got power, I can see a light on in one of the windows. Hope they weren't in the lift last night <laughs> when the power went off. I suspect they've got generators in there. But it's lovely to see you yesterday. And uh, Nigel insisted on sponsoring tonight's curry for me. So tonight's curry is on Nigel. Cheers, mate. Power outages or no power outages. Those two there and those two there. Not working. He wasn't there before, was he? That generator power van. He's new. Does seem peculiar. Does seem peculiar. Walk down through the triangle. Yeah, I think everything that needs to have power here in the triangle has power. It's like I say, fair play to them. They seem to have managed to get everything turned on, even if it's just from generators. Just go over to the uh, 
Cantonese house. Check there's nothing stuck on the door. Saying we're not open tonight. So we've just had a funny few weeks of different opening hours. And uh, last week I wasn't able to get it because they weren't open. Yeah, nothing special. Closed Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday to Sunday, and today's Wednesday, so it will be a curry night tonight. Beach court slash beach hotel. Back in the day, we looked at that the other day, didn't we? And as you might well have guessed, I don't actually have any then and nows or AIs or anything like that planned for today. Well, I did other than planned, but I couldn't finish them off last night because I didn't have any power. So they've not been done. But again, I'll get onto it this afternoon. Old train right up in the distance. You may not see that. There we go, I zoomed in. Eleven times zoom. Great big dog. A few people under the cover of the team bean. But nobody, funnily enough. How surprising. Nobody sat outside. <laughs> Only mad fools like me wandering around. 20 times zoom. Bye bye. And so I've got a nice little AI like the one I did yesterday, I think it was. Similar to that with the, another steam train on the wall just here. But like I say, I put it in to cook last night and I've not really been able to access it until I woke up this morning. And it was a bit late to sort of sort it all out. But we do that one in a day or so. It's about here. It's lovely. And of course, just in case you've got any doubt, I do have a little bit of Rufus food in my pocket. Right, just pop in, feed Rufus. Then we get the uh, real time trains up and see how long we've got to wait. Don't think it's too long. I think it's worked out quite well, this timing wise. Here, birdies. No sign of anyone though greeting me. Never mind. Peanuts have been refilled. Lovely. And and now Rufy's had some food as well. Lovely. Right, let's check this real-time trains. See how long I've got to wait. Well, unfortunately, it's back to its original scheduled time, which is 12:37. And since the moment I woke up this morning, it was telling me it was going to be here early at 12.10. So I'm not going to stand, stay up here for another half an hour. I'll stop wandering back, probably get it at Timber Station, in fairness. And wind blocker on now, for those of you that keep track. And unsurprisingly, no toot at spray point, indicating that that was unfortunately not a happy train. Oh, so there we go. That was too not that many trains. And I've got to wait for the steam train. Any more positive news? I woke up this morning to this. Look at that. It's fantastic. Thinking of a Prince song tonight, doing a party like it's 1999. Oh, yes. I wonder if I'll see 2000 by tomorrow. I'll let you know in tomorrow's video anyway, but thank you ever so much to everyone that subscribes. Smash in. This little traffic jam will be due to that big lorry that's around the corner there. Stopping people getting out onto the main road. Fair enough. It looks like we've got a bit of gridlock in the rest of town as well. Say so down to these generators, everyone, no doubt. Well, I'm not going to chance the co ops, I mean, it might be just a train, but I am going to see if I can cut up to Lidl's now, just for absolute essentials, and do the uh, specialised shop, which is the stuff that mum gets normally on a Wednesday. Do it tomorrow. That bear shop is now open and running. Just look in this window, have a proper look. Another day when I've got a bit more time. 
that's the sort of thing they're selling in there. There we go. Up Bickford Lane to Liddles. Here we go, Liddles, but half an hour, unfortunately, till they're open. So I have to come out again this afternoon, like I said. Never mind, I'll survive. Right, make my way back to the station, sit patiently and wait. Lovely. Wind blocker back off now. So when I get on the station and I film the train, we get the maximum benefit of the sound. Ooh, there's one waiting for us to film it, pulling away. How nice of it. She goes. Got about a quarter of an hour to wait now. If any trains come through, I'll film them. Otherwise, I'll see you for the uh, special. Well, that was good. They just put an announcement out and said, for those of you waiting to see the steam train, it's being held at Dawlish and we'll be continuing along after the local service. Well, that's really nice. I've never I've been down here and filmed multiple steam trains. I've never once heard an announcement referencing them. So that's great, isn't it? They're really starting to pull out the stops now. Smashing. Pleased with that. There we go, next one through should be our steam train. Head of steam. indeed an extremely happy train and if I can get to it later to see it coming back I shall but I can't promise I've got things I've got to do today nightmare so here we go steam train acquired I can finally go home now and dry off I'm gonna go and try Littles again just in case it's reopened save me coming out again in the rain once I'm in Passed a couple of people carrying bags, so I think it's open. Hallelujah. Yeah, looks good. See you on the other side when I'm out. All empty shelves in the uh, freezer section. There we go. Two bags of shopping. Just the essentials. Empty station. A rainy day. And Timoth mostly without proper power. That sums up this morning. And I'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow. Power permitting. <laughs> Try and get stuff a bit more organised now. Take care, bye.